want to talk about today is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Ray. This book was a debut novel and I'm sure glad that it came out. If you don't know, the really cool thing about this book is that it is filled with a bunch of vintage photography. Look, here's some. Look at these lovely lovely gems of pictures. The photographs are woven seamlessly into the storyline which was amazing and beautiful and I guess I just don't want to put this book down. This book followed a 16 year old boy named Jacob and as he was growing up his grandfather would tell him these fantastical and mysterious stories about when he lived in an orphanage filled with peculiar children. You know, it might just be the title of the book. As Jacob grows older, he starts to doubt some of the stories. However, when Jacob witnesses his father die in a mysterious way, he is left to follow clues that lead him to the orphanage that his grandfather grew up in and might just discover a few interesting things. There. I did a little bit of research on the book because I'm a nerd and I found out that originally the author was just going to release a book of photography that he had collected over the years but then because of some advice he decided to make up a plot line and just do a whole book about them. A real book. Some people thought that it was going to be more of like a creepy horror thriller and it's not. The beginning was a little bit creepy and I did get a tad creeped out toward the end because they tied it into a real world occurrence and sometimes that freaks me out a little bit but other than that it was just like really amazing and I couldn't put it down. I just kept waiting until I got to the next set of pictures because I wanted to see what pictures would be next and how he would tie it into the story because it was so beautiful. I keep saying that because it's true. The only problem I had with the book is that the writing towards the end seemed a little bit messy and I don't know, it started losing some of its believability for me. But overall, I really loved this book. I gave it four out of five stars and I definitely recommend it. I will be picking up the sequel sometime soon, hopefully, maybe next month. I have a lot of books on my plate. I crack myself up sometimes. So that's my book review on Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Make sure to comment below if you've read the book and we'll talk about it together. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!